Hey guys, it's Mike again. I'm back um, with you um, to present another sales update video. This is what has sold for me on eBay and Amazon. And um, basically, I acquire different items through mostly garage sales. Um, I rarely go into thrift stores. I used to go into thrift stores, um, but the prices um, have really skyrocketed in my area in Northern California. So I stay away from thrift stores. Um, I also used to have a thrift store right down the street from me that, that moved away. So um, that kind of took away the incentive. But um, mainly garage sales, estate sales, um, auctions, and, and that type of thing is where I, where I get these items. So um, let's jump right into it. This is for October 16th through the 31st, 2017. Um, and if you're taking the time to watch this, I truly appreciate it. Um, ask me any questions in the comments below, and I'll be glad to, to answer them and uh, interact with you. So anyways, let's jump right into it. This is just a snow globe, a Lion King snow, snow globe that we got from a garage sale, my wife and I. Um, and it looks like we took a best offer of $24.95. I'm going to jump back and forth as usual between... Um, the actual sales screen and then um, sort of the summary of all the items just to show you when I did take a best offer. So that was the first item. Uh, next is this Pearl Snap Western shirt uh, made by Levi's. Um, it was new with tags. This was when I was going to the thrift stores. And um, let's see here. I did probably pay between Back then, this was a couple years ago. They told it took this that long to sell. Sell. Um, I probably paid between five and six dollars for this, but you know it was kind of unusual, really cool patchwork style um, pearl snap. But um, anyways, uh, it took a few years to sell for twenty nine ninety seven um, plus shipping. Uh, I thought it would sell a lot quicker. I think it went global shipping program. Um, and then the this is a racket racquetball racket that I picked up at an estate sale. I, I paid like five dollars for a pair of rackets. Um, I believe one was a squash racket, um, but this um, it was in really good condition, and I sold it for um, I got a best offer forty two forty five as you can see right here. Sorry for flipping back and forth. Um, this is another shirt that I picked up at a thrift store probably four or five dollars several years ago Eddie Bauer um, took a best offer fifteen dollars so didn't really lose any money but it did, didn't make a whole lot e either that was sort of an experiment um, I don't buy clothing anymore unless I can get it for a dollar or two at the most uh, <clears throat> depending on what it is if it's a really nice like Pendleton or um, you know shirt or something like that or a Robert Graham I'll pay a little bit more because I know I can sell it but um, this was an experiment to these shoes I bought these at a garage sale for a couple of dollars um, it took a very long time to sell them um, they're the Tur Nike turbo shocks or Nike shocks turbos has like little um, I don't know what these are they're like shock absorbers in the shoes they look really crazy, uh, but let's see. I took a best offer of thirty dollars for these, um, and then this is just like a dollar pickup at a garage sale. Ewoks. Um, I thought I'd get a lot more because it's a rare find um, VHS, but you know VHS is kind of um, you, you take a chance. So dollar, I was in it for a dollar, and I took a best offer of ten dollars, and then. Once again, if you watch past videos, you know about these uh, keen big eyes greeting cards. They're just blank cards and uh, consistently have been sell selling them. This particular um, one, the Runaway, um, as you can see, I've sold 64 of these for $7.95. So those are a nice bread and butter item for me. Um, this is a radio um, from a Sprinter Freightliner. I think it's like a large van like a cargo van. Um, I picked it up for $5. Um, had a nice little wood grain to it. It's a CD um, AM FM stereo. Just stock. 
Um, let's see, I sold it for, I took a best offer of $52. So um, I was asking 109, but um, I was glad to get 52 because it sat for like a year. So I was glad to get something for it. And then here's another one of those keen cards. I'll just jump right over that. Um, this is just, just a pair of shoes. I bought it like a bunch of shoes, um, like a box of three or four pairs of shoes. Um, these look like, yeah, they were new, new with tags, um, as you can see right there. Um, didn't get a whole lot for them. Um, it's not a high-end brand. Zara is not a really high-end brand, but they were kind of cool looking. I took a best offer of $22.50. Next up is uh, my wife picked a bunch of these um, food mold, like, you know, it could be jello, cake, what have you, um, at an estate sale. She paid like next to nothing for these, like two or three dollars a piece. Um, I think this is one, another, I think we've sold a couple of them before this. This sold for $22.95. She took a best offer. And then um, this is just another garage sale pair of pants that I picked up. They're just, ooh, photos are terrible, but they're Ralph, Ralph Lauren polo chino slacks. Um, probably paid $2 for these. I took a best offer of $20 um, with free shipping. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll do free shipping on lightweight clothing that will sell, that will ship uh, first class. So I don't mind uh, putting that in there. And of course, um, loudmouth, whenever I see these, I always pick them up, no matter what the pattern. For some reason, um, golfers, maybe not just golfers, but they're supposedly golf shorts. Um, but I think other people probably love wearing these crazy designs as well. So um, I paid, I think, $6 for these, and I sold these for $45. Took a best offer of $45 plus free shipping. Uh, next up is I bought the I bought a box with binoculars, some old um, SLR cameras and equipment and lenses. Um, probably paid about twelve dollars for the box, and these particular binoculars, um, vintage Bushnell, um, super big too. They were like huge. Um, I took a best offer of fifty dollars for these guys, um, plus ship plus they paid shipping so next up is pardon my my internet is kind of slowing down on me here um, this is just a kind of leather floppy bucket hat um, made by Gorn Brothers I think it's a local manufacturer I'm not entirely sure but um, you know just kind of a hippie hipster type thing um, kind of neat um, we probably paid three or four dollars, um, maybe a, maybe five or six actually, um, from a thrift store. This is back when we used to go to thrift stores, and I took a best offer of forty dollars because it did sit for about a year and a half. And then um, I I usually get cell phones um, that people trade in. A lot of times they're broken um, from work. Um, last year I was selling a bunch of these cell phones, ones that worked and ones that didn't have um, that weren't locked um, a lot of times the iPhones people turn them in at work and they don't um, they it still has the iCloud lock on it anyways this was just a leftover bunch of phones I sold them for parts not working um, some of them did work but they're iCloud locked so that you know they were just for parts um, I took a actually I sold them for fifty dollars um, I put them on auction and they sold so Got rid of a bunch of junkie phones and made fifty dollars. This was another. Um, this is an older MacBook Pro that didn't work. I was actually walking through the warehouse at work, and uh, we have a electronics recycling um, container, and people just throw their old junky electronics in there. And I saw this um, MacBook Pro, and I listed it on eBay. Um, didn't even test it or anything. Sold it for a hundred bucks. Um, plus they paid shipping, um, so that was pretty awesome to, to find that in the recycled bin and to make a bunch of money off of it. So can't complain about that. And then I think these three King cards sold to one person. 
Um, so here's one. It's called The Reluctant Ballerina. And this one's called The Girl of Marseille. And the third one, this is the most popular one, The Little Thinker. Um, so I always love when I can combine shipping. Here's another one that sold to another person. Um, combine shipping on these cards. So I make just a little bit more. And then this is kind of the home run of the month right here. This is just a tent um, propane heater. Um, basically, I got this at a, a garage sale. I paid $20 for it. Uh, I sold it one time. The guy said, oh, it doesn't work, and um, got it back. Um, I sent it to the factory. It, it cost me $35 to get it fixed. Um, that, that included shipping and everything. So I was in for it for 35 40, about $55. Uh, and I took a best offer of, as you can see, no, not a best offer. Oops, excuse me. Um, I sold it for $429.97 plus shipping. Um, so that was pretty awesome. Um, that really made my month. Um, and you just never know. I didn't even know what it was when I first saw it. But um, it's super basic. Um, this is just another king card. Um, and then this is this was an experiment. I bought this on an auction, online auction. And I think after I got it um, with shipping and everything, I probably paid 12 bucks for it or something. It's kind of an uh, experiment that didn't really work out. Um, let's see here. Um, but I did get $55 for it. So $10 into 55, I took a best offer. Can't complain about that. And then Amazon was pretty slow this um, two week period of the month. Um, but I did sell these keen cards, a lot of 10. Um, let me just kind of pull them up to show you what's included in in the lot of 10 it's just all these keen big eyes paintings on like blank cards it includes all these designs here um, so we've been selling those consistently um, as you'll see for 42.95 and then the last two these are some crackers that are like gluten free they're made out of like super seeds and garlic and they have different flavors i um, been selling these for 20 bucks a box, um, getting them for, I think, a couple bucks, um, turning that into 20 bucks um, as an experiment. And it worked out, you know, they're selling kind of slowly. But um, anyways, there's another one, $2 into $20. Can't complain about that. Um, and that's it for this time period. But um, if you made it to the end, um, I just want to say thanks again for taking the time to watch. Um, I really appreciate it. If this video helped you in any way, identify some, some items that you can resell, um, please consider subscribing um, to find out uh, more items, as well as um, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you, if you, the more thumbs up we get on YouTube, um, the more people um, the video gets out to, so you'll be helping other people. Anyways, thanks guys, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.